years. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, I've known him like since, since my high school days and shit, and he's been kicking ass since those days too. And, and, and yo, I'm, I'm glad to, to see that, that the guy's like st still putting in uh, mad work, even PR'd here in Westchester now. And shit, but this is the likes of Jackal we're talking about here. Good God, probably what? Not not even probably like one like one of the best bull players in the whole world, right here <clears throat> that that we're talking about. I mean, so and added like a mad close first to five with Quid, pretty much. Well, so what I will say about this matchup is that Zelda definitely can contest Wolf. It's just super hard because once Zelda gets on ledge. She has to get so scared, and that was just a really nice first stop from Jackal. And this is where we have to see, like, Zero to None kind of, like, play a little bit more of a way that isn't going to get him hit by not only Blaster, but also, like, without, like, just getting d randomly dashed attacked, which is, like, kind of the thing. Like, Wolf just, like, out, just outdoes almost Zelda in almost every way. It's really scary. Yeah. Ooh, and that was a really nice follow-up, but not going to get that kill. And now we have to be a little bit scared. Jesus Christ. Ooh, nice yep. catch with that up air right there from ZTN. Honestly, this this can definitely still go out pretty well. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be a matter of, like, how ZTN just stays out of disadvantage. Zelda's disadvantage is, like, not the best because she's super slow. And something I learned pretty recently was that Zelda has one of the worst, like, jumps from ledge possible. So, like, yeah. jumping from ledge can be good depending on, like, the jump speed, I want to say, of the character. So, like, the reason why jumping from ledge can be so good is just because, like, it, it's one of the, the, um, the options that just, like, avoids everything, if that makes sense. Like, it just avoids, like, you can deploy so much with just jumping from ledge and just get back to center stage, specifically from just jumping, which is why I love that option so much. But Zelda can't do none of that. But what Zelda can do is make this a quite even set, which I really love that ZTN is doing. Damn. <laughs> cl cl close that gap <laughs> I almost right away. Pretty much, an, oh, my God. A bit, bit, of a, bit of a nice little sum sum that, that uh, Jack Jackal cooked, cooked up right there. Already having a ZTN around 59%. And yeah, like I'm seeing a, a bit on like what, what you mean on like this matchup kind of being a pain in the ass uh, for Zelda. As, especially like, given uh, the, the laser, some of uh, Wolf's other options too. And like hell, a reflector's like right there. And and, and given a reflector, like you, you just have to be like mad careful with one of zero, uh, Zelda's like best options, Phantom. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, I really like the way that like there was a lot of like. Um, read of like tech options, especially on like, well, I want to say um, tech options, like especially on ZTN's part. Um, but like, I feel like Jackal just has a little bit too much um, like pressure when it comes to Zelda that really like makes this matchup hard. Like the pressure that Wolf has is just super strong. And that on top of like how good Jackal is, that's just going to make it that much more of a hill to climb for ZTN. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Especially given um, some of uh, Wolf's options at around uh, around the ledge, <clears throat> shit. Yeah, there, there's F tilt, which which that that alone is, is already like quite quite a thing to to worry about if you're being ledge trapped and shit. That that down smash as well. That, that shit hits like a dragon and a bunch of other uh, options Wolf seems to have as well. And besides, like J Jackal already having a pretty dang nice lead against ZTN right here. Already, already having them at one, around 100. Make that 111. That was probably open to to get maybe a roll or or, or, or some sort of approach from uh, ZTN right there with that F smash. But nope, not quite. Oh, I mean, catches honestly, that approach though. This is like the name of the game. Like we literally seen like ZTN in disadvantage this whole time. Jesus but this Christ. is where we get to see hopefully ZTN play a little bit of the you know aggression game which I really love like from Zelda, like just making sure that they're in advantage for a while, but it's not looking like that since we've seen Jackal take that first stock with only 47% on the board, which, yep. you know, I don't know. ZTN definitely yeah. has to be a little bit more careful. I definitely want to say being a little bit more um, cautious, or a um, little bit more aware of like how they actually face their tools. Like, you have to be really wary for stuff like that because Jackal positions himself in a way that using the platforms, he um, fastballs down to use fair, which is like really good because 
the use of Nair is like one of Wolf's best things in this game. Jesus Christ. But hold up. Speaking of aerials, nice forward air out of shield. The little twinkle toes from, from Zelda right there. T taking that first stock right, right off Jackal. And all, although things are looking uh, kind of rough, this 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 is do this seems doable for, for, for ZTN. I mean, it honestly really is. Yeah. Like, as I tend to say, we're one content. It, it ain't over until it's actually over. And, and stocks, uh, when you get right down to it, is pretty much the room they have for mistakes. And, and although J Jackal may, may may have more room for, for mistakes than, than ZTN uh, does right now in terms of percentage, or, get, or given the percentage, and I guess given the stocks right now, ZTN is still in this low. I mean, I, I definitely think ZTN can do it. It's just the, the spacing of things matters so much in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Taking like little things, like being a little bit weary about like how you space around Ooh. that, but that was such a good follow up and that could have killed. Ooh. But that's still nice damage to kill on or um, go on because now that means that. Ooh, Jesus Christ, the double dash check. For, for, from old Jaguar right there, already having ZTN at 56%. Make that 69, make that 78. Good God, and keep and still ha ha having uh, advanced shit going on for, for a bit longer there. Jesus Christ. Now, oh, oh, oh Jesus Christ. I was about to say, although like ZTN might have a bit of a trouble using Phantom, I guess uh, ZTN could have used Phantom to, to condition Jago to pull out Reflector and then get uh, some other stuff off of that.